Now you can see I started with a, a one vertical line here in the middle. We're going to start with this de uh, deluxe house number two. Now for this one, let's go ahead, let's put the three lines. Let's start with that simple house, but we're going to go crazy with the roofs. Wait till you see all these roofs. Okay, so these two lines are a little, this is lower, that's placement. Near things are lower, far things are higher away. Let's go ahead and we'll start with the, the we're going to make this very, uh, very simple looking to start with and then we're going to go nuts. So we're, we're referring to our handy trusty, we always use the box, right? These two lines right here, northeast and northwest. We'll go ahead and draw the top of the house here, okay? Let me move this down just a bit so you can see draw a guideline going up, right up the middle, put a dot. And then from, from the edge, just go ahead and draw that simple little house, just like we did in that video tutorial, the first one, okay? Using a guideline right here, Going to go up to the left here in direction north, west, and then matching that slope. Okay, there's ours, there top of our first house. Okay, Sh shorten this just a bit. I'm going to shorten this. Watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take the slant and have it come right down to here. Watch this. Okay, that's going to be our the slant of the next roof. And I'm going to shoot a guideline following the guideline you've done before. I'll come up behind this, not to the corner, go behind it. Following that guideline, see, and I'll, I'm going to do another roof here. I'm going to do a whole bunch of different roofs, all right? Now following this guideline, following the slant of that roof, let's, let's just follow it, draw it down here. And then what I'll do down over on this side, turn the corner. We're just sketching it, and look, at we got the next layer here. Now, I want to re reduplicate this slant right here back over here. So we'll draw this slant coming down. A, line, a guideline going up here from the left to the right. See this? Following that guideline. See that? The lines you've already drawn? We're going to build all kinds of interesting shapes. In fact, you know what I'm going to do right here? Watch this. I'm going to do another roof right here. I'm going to match this. We're going to do a multi-multiple roof. Following this guideline coming out here, I'll do another roof right here. And then do another vertical line. Look at that. I just threw another one in there matching all these slants. Make sure that one roof matches the next roof, the multiple roof house. This tucks back behind here. That's fine. We're kind of shaping and building as we go. <laughs> you can have to do this one several times to, to, uh, to get it, all right? All right, now, this roof is going to match this line here. I, oh, I always look back at the lines I've drawn, okay? And then this slant's a little bit shorter. Turning the corner, referring from this line I to this line, to this line, they all line up. And I'll draw another vertical line down here. Okay? That's pretty fun. Now, what else are we going to add over here? I think I'll take this roof behind here and wrap it back. It comes around the corner. About right here, it'll shoot out. Now, following the guidelines you've already drawn, what I'll do is I want to shorten this just a bit. Shorten just a bit here because I want this to slant down right here. So what I'll do is I'm going to have it come down about how I'm trying to look kind of we're looking at this slant here and I want this roof to slant down here and I'm going to match that same angle as it's slanting. See how it comes around, comes back behind this corner. And that look at how far we've come on this one. And then again, all the way back to the beginning using those guidelines that we drew before. We're just going to kind of create this as we go. See this line, this line, this line. Vertical, vertical. I want, to, I want. I do want this to slant back over here, and I want this to line up. So I'll put a guideline. See, we sure to use a lot of these sketching guidelines. See that? See, this is lower. This is higher. This is closer. This is farther away. And then we can draw the vertical line. But you know what? I want to do the same thing. I want to do another roof over here. So let's go kind of crazy on this one. I'm going to draw another roof following that guideline, coming out over here, and then. I'm going to slant this roof. In fact, you know what? I'm going to slant it all the way down so it connects to this. This is a straight up and down line. That's a vertical line. We'll connect it. And this roof and this slant, this direction matches. Okay? Something right there in the middle. I'll put a, another slant roof using a guide. Of, the line above it is a reference line coming down. I like this slant, so I want to keep this slant of that roof coming across here. The near line is going to be a little bit longer. Ooh, I see a neat place to connect. So I want this roof to connect to this roof or come pretty close. Okay, if you follow this guideline, boy, this one has the potential to get really all droopy and, and awkward on your paper. So you always go back to the beginning line, this line and this line. So you always refer. 
and then a vertical line, vertical line, vertical line, vertical line. Now, technically, uh, for my sketches, I was going to stop this right here. But I, you know what? I'm going to go on. Pull back the camera just a little bit. I want to see just how crazy. Right there is good. Look at I'm going to see how crazy we can get here. You want to go really nuts? <laughs> we could. How crazy do you want to get on this one? Well, let's see. Uh, I'm going to put another slant over here. Why not? Following the roof slant here. I'll, I'm going to slant this all the way down to that point here. See this slant right here? Follow this all the way down. Turn the corner right here. Do you see that guideline? I'm going to follow this. It's like a step building. See that nice slant and then a vertical, vertical, vertical. Okay, and then a vertical line. Look at this. This is crazy. And then over here, come back over here. I'm going to match that slant. This is a wonderful one for reference. Okay, now what I'll do is here, make that back one shorter like that. Make sure, look at this, this slant even more. I'm going to use this line and this line as a reference. Going up here, this is a light line. This line, this line, line up. That's a, those are direction northwest, northwest, northwest. And then vertical. Wow, crazy. Now let's just see if we can draw the bottom of this one. This, and then you, you can keep going. You can draw a thousand of these, but I'm afraid I'm going to lose you. So what we'll do is we'll just connect all these, and that'll be our deluxe house number two. Okay, so we're, instead of going straight across, watch how I do this. We, the mil, middle line's got to be longer. This is going to be lower and longer. This is going to be lo closer than this. And this one right here will be just about, just about even across the paper. These are going to be our two nearest corners, this corner and this corner. And make them just about the same length. Now let's start from the left and we'll work across the right. It doesn't really matter. Either one you want to do. Going uphill lightly. Let's do it lightly first so we know we have the angle. This goes back here, lining up from the line above it. Coming down, lining up back here with the line, and lining up again from the top. This line here. that interesting? Look at you, just kind of using these lines as a right. You're building. You're building as you go. Let's see, I go back, I line it up. Remember when we did those bo the blocks, the simple blocks piled up, those three and four blocks? And then let's turn the corner here. This one, to get this, this one gets tricky because you have all these slants to contend with. See, I'm going to use this line, this line, this line. Oops, this is getting tricky for me. Getting tricky. Getting tricky for you too? You're using your pause button a lot. And then, now there's a little tiny jog right here. You got to do this. This line lines up with this, see? and then go uphill here, following the lines. I like how that turned out. That is really fun. I was going to make it much simpler than this, but we went crazy. Very cool. Look at that. Awesome. Very, very cool. Now remember, you have lots more lessons to go through on this one. Now let's shade this advanced house. Right away, I'm going to put a little shadow, a little nook and cranny shadow. Under not much place, not nothing. Not any, uh, maybe a little one right here. Not very many spots to do a shadow. And then the shading, of course. I'm going to shade the side of the house. Shade. I'll keep the light coming from the top right, okay? So you shade the right, or the light's coming from the right. Here's a shadow. Remember, I'm even going to use these guidelines here for the shadow on the ground. Look at this. Put that shadow. Put that shadow. Put that shadow. See the shadow, how it lines up? Isn't that neat? The shadow lines up. Did you like that? See that line right there? The shadow lines up with this line and this line. Then I'll go ahead and shade the side of the house here. Away from the light. And then, sun's over here, so I'll shade the side over here. And then I'll shade the side over here. And you can put doors and windows and all kinds of, kinds of neat things. For your and I hope got a shade right here. And that just about finished your drawing. Way to go. I'm gonna put a little shadow down here. That's oh <laughs> there's just all these little spots. Maybe a little shadow on the roof, little little cast shadow on the roof right here. Wherever you want to add more shadows. Excellent job on your uh, super deluxe advanced house number two, sloping roof. Way to go. Yeah.